All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 95. All right. So arrays have a length property that returns the number of items in the array. We may want to add new values to the weapons array in the future. So we're going to change our if condition to check if current weapon is less than the length of the weapons array. An example of checking the length of an array, my array would look like my array dot length. All right. So let's go check it out over the MDM page, right? So array, so array length, uh, the length data property of an array instance represents the number of elements in that array. Uh, and then this other stuff that doesn't really apply right now. So we've got this clothing array right here. And we can see that when we do console.log uh, clothing.length, it's the expected output is four. And so when we run it, it does indeed put four out there. So let's take away uh, two of these things right here. And I bet you can guess what's going to happen when we run it. Yes, it gives us two, all right? So that's how uh, clothing, that's how an array.length works like that, right? Uh, so let's come down here. And we're going to change the if condition to check if the current weapon is less than the length of the weapons array, right? So we'll change this three right here to weapons dot length, just like that. And that should take care of business. So let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 96. And we'll see you next time.